field trip in middle school, and two of my classmates started having sex on the back of the bus. Nice! We were all shocked. The whispers went around the bus, but I guess it didn't get to the chaperone because nobody came to stop it. The girl got Why would they the stop computer. it? What virgin would try to stop that? We didn't know if it was from the field trip shenanigans or extracurricular activities. What? Oh, fucker, really? Bro, what vir- uh, I wonder what virgin told the fucking teacher on him, too. Ma'am, they're having sex at the back of the bus! Shut up! The back of the bus. Yeah. It took three classes of sixth graders to visit the Los Angeles Country County Museum of Art. And since I was very pregnant, I was allowed to drive my own car ahead of the bus. As I was walking towards the kids ex exiting the bus, I noticed a slew of papers on the sidewalk. I looked closer and suddenly realized they were sorting extremely pornographic pictures. I stopped to try and quickly gather them up before the kids saw them. We'd already taken a big talk about being mature when viewing classical art and nude statues, but we were not prepared for the most lewd <coughs> porn LA had to offer. Unfortunately, the raid had plastered the papers to the sidewalk and the sight of a very pregnant teacher scrambling on hands and knees on close pair of boulevards sent the chaperones and teachers rushing to my aid with a hundred kids right after them. <laughs> Dude, let the kid fucking look at porn, dude. Come on. Also, don't do that, but let the... Let the... Motherfucker was horny. Let him bust. Fucking bitch! <laughs> All right, master. Let's kill the whole bitch! <laughs> Went to an aquarium which had an ice wall when I was in primary school. There were a lot of bloody tongues that day. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, wait, bloody tongues. And then I remember, ice wall. No. No. <laughs> All right, cool, casual. Understandable. Have a good day. Why are there so many fucking diving zombies? Stop it! I was chaperoning a field trip to the science center and was in charge of a group of eight boys. Well, at one point, one of them went missing. No one knew where he was for about ten minutes until one minute, until one of the science center security guards brought him to me and asked, "Is he one of yours?" He then proceeded to open the kid's backpack, which had about $2,000, $200 worth of stolen stuff from the gift shop inside. <laughs> the gift shop bandits back at it again. <laughs> <coughs> Woo! Fuck you. <coughs> Bitch! <laughs> we came back with an extra kid. <laughs> Nice. Literally, it all, that's all it says. Another one to add to the school, I guess. Should've let him, should've let him join the school. And these school ones are a lot funnier than like the wedding and funeral ones. Those are just like fucking like, oh, come on, dude, really? Yeah. But these are like these legitimately are funny. These are bangers. Also, we got, we got a new plant. Torchwood. It's a spin-off show of the, the hit t Doctor Who. I stuttered, oh, yeah. and thus the joke wasn't funny. No, uh, peas that pass through it turn into fireballs. I'm not going to use it. I'll, uh, I'll mainly use it in the final level, uh, uh, but I'm not going to use it in regular levels. Uh, oh, no. There's fucking dolphin zombies. I don't like those motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers can go to hell and die. 
This one is called The Covenant Discovery. Mm -hmm. I attended a Catholic high school, so every year we would spend three nights in a covenant. Our teachers would force us to be on our best behavior so that we would seem like a delight to the nuns, especially to the headmistress. One faithful night, someone took a huge dump the size of an arm and didn't flush. Sadly, it was discovered you know, as you by do. one of the nuns. The next morning, the headmistress gave us a long sermon about toilet etiquette while my teacher melted of humiliation in the corner. That's fucking great. I love that. <clears throat> in fifth grade, we went on a field trip to explore some historical sites. On the way there, the bus started to smell funky. After about <laughs> minutes, now it's time to get funky, funky, funky. <laughs> after about 15 minutes, everyone smelled it, and it was like trying to figure out what happened. The bus driver eventually pulled over because he couldn't take the smell anymore, and a teacher looked around the bus only to discover a skunk directly underneath one of the seats. <laughs> bruh bruh I thought this was gonna be a fucking must bus story yeah Sam my cousin went on a trip to an aquarium the trip was great but then when he arrived back at school he started to act strangely after a good amount of prodding he opened up his backpack out pops a literal penguin the kid had straight up smuggled a penguin from the exhibit his mom called the aquarium to tell him what was up it didn't believe her he says count them lady puts her on hold for a few minutes and says how fast can you get him back? Should have let him keep the fucking penguin, dude. Probably would have taken care of it. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> oh, how the the trend for these stories is me just saying, "Oh no, he he was in the right there." <laughs> the kid deserved deserved uh, recognition there. <laughs> kid did what he had to do. <laughs> All these kids are based. Based as fuck. Based as fuck. In our school, there were four classes in each year. Three of the classes were lucky enough to be taken to an amusement park close to London. A class teacher didn't agree with us having a fun day out and said that we should be doing something educational. But where Bitch. You go, a washing machine factory in Kent. We were all so embarrassed when returning to the school that we lied about what we did and told them that the washing machine factory was awesome and that we went on quad bikes. We didn't, and we looked at about hundred. We looked at about a hundred old washing machines. Bitch! Uh, I hate teachers like that. Yeah, you're not allowed to do anything fun. You guys are a bunch of little shits. You've made my life miserable, so I'm gonna make your life miserable. <gasps> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Bunch of ten-year-olds. I'm an adult. Fuck you. Unless I can do what I please. Okay, master. Let's kill the whole beach. Oh. oh. We were teenagers on a school trip to Paris. From our room, we could see two guys around our age who were decent looking. We started chatting with hand signals and signs we'd written in our marker from in our school books. When a few of us decided to flash them our boobs. In the morning, we saw the sign at their hotel, which turned out to be a psychiatric hospital. We all got detentioned when the hospital complained. Yo. Maybe don't flash your tits at random people, guys. Just saying. Just saying. At our year six residential trip, there was one lad at school who had a reputation for being the quietest. During our six, our year six residential trip, he managed in the space of four days to fall from a boat into the ocean, climb up on a display in the museum, and knock it over. Get stuck inside a claw machine at the arcade and choke on a lollipop. That's a motherfucking gamer right there. Yeah. Achievement gotten. How did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> trip in middle school and two of my classmates started having sex on the back of the bus nice we were all the whispers went around the bus but i guess it didn't get to the chaperone because nobody came to stop it the girl got why would they stop it theater. what virgin would try to stop that we didn't know if it was from the field trip shenanigans or extracurricular activities what oh fucker really Bro, what vir- uh, I wonder what virgin told the fucking teacher on him, too. Ma'am, they're having 
having sex at the back of the bus. Shut. No, oh, I'm getting fucked right now. Stop with the dolphins, please. That would be rather cool of you if you could stop doing that. Please. On a Duke of Edinburgh camping trip, we were tasting a Rice Krispie treat that accidentally started a fire that spread quickly and was about to have the size of a football pitch. We had no phone signal to call for help, so the group of approximately 15 to 16, 15... 15, 16 year olds had to jump in the river, take our tops off, and use them to dampen down the flames. It took about 30 minutes, but it worked. I mean, at least it worked, I guess. Right. On a school trip to Paris, the teachers all drink a lot of wine at dinner before heading up to their rooms. One of the girls got a nosebleed and went for a first aid kit, to which our designated first aider, my math teacher, decided it was the appropriate course of action was to bandage her whole head up. Huh? No. Uh, that seems like a waste. <laughs> then again, I ain't no medical oh, professional, oh, unlike oh, the oh. math teacher. This one's good. On a high school trip to a choir festival, one of the boys in the room next door apparently had a sleepwalking problem. We all woke up to shouts of, Alan, no, as they slept walk into the hall of the hotel. Hell room and took a huge dump next to the elevator. Time. <laughs> Man was a sleepwalking. He was just based. Based. He was trying to be half as cool as that one motherfucker who fucking, fucking sprinted naked across the fucking pool. Shit in his pants, bro. <laughs> it was just shitting everywhere. <laughs> Look at what they have to do to even try to mimic our power. In fourth grade, we went to the park for our school trip. Unfortunately, we had to spend 90% of our time in a barn on lockdown because a bank robber was running loose in the park. <laughs> nice. They should have helped him. They should have helped no. him. They would have gotten a cut. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Also, we got another... We got... We got... Just after the diarrhea, we got the fucking turd. Nice. The tall nut, heavy duty wall that can't be vaulted over. Oh! My elementary school class went on a trip to an archaeological excavation, and we had to leave almost as soon as they started the tour because they found a body and couldn't tell if it was old or new. Oh, nice. It's pretty freaking epic, guys. <laughs> found a fucking body? Sick, bro. <laughs> cool. In year 11, our year group went on a trip to Berlin. We all wait till the teachers had gone to their hotel rooms before sneaking out to the bar on the corner of the street to get drunk. It wasn't until a few of us went out to smoke that we realized our teachers had done exactly the same thing. Ooh. There we were, teachers and students all drunk having a stir off with each other. I mean... On one hand, I know the teachers would be mad, but on the other hand, I like the idea of them just showing up and they're like, oh, hey, Kyle, uh, you want a beer? <laughs> want a beer? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty sick, okay. Mr. Mister Jorgensen. I couldn't think of a name. I went to a pretty hippie school. On a camping trip, the teacher decided to have take us on an unscheduled visit to a famous nudist colony nearby. After watching her strip down, we were all taken on a tour. There were naked people everywhere. If we were told our parents about it at all, I don't remember being that phased about it. Mid-90s were a wild time. Aww, oh, I want to go to hippie school. That sounds really fun, actually. Not the nudist part, although that does sound kind of cool, too, but... Dude. Fucking hippie school. I want that! Bring back hippie school! <laughs> hmm. How long have we been recording? Uh, three hours now. You mind if we break off soon? I gotta be somewhere tomorrow. Uh, yeah. We're almost done with this stage, so... Or this level, so, uh... Nice. Those, those were some pretty good-ass stories, I'm not gonna lie. 
Yeah. But yeah, we just got the, we got this level, and then we got the the final level, and then we move on to the next area, and that's when we'll that's when we'll end it. Let's finish this one, and then I can go to sleep. Wait, what? We gotta finish this one, and then I can go to sleep. Yeah. And if not, I'm gonna fall asleep on call, and then you can make fun of me when I snore. Yeah, I'll I'll just scare you awake like that one video. Uh, <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I still hate you for that. <laughs> no matter about that. In fact, I'm going. I'm leaving. Goodbye. You'll never I see me again. Right the fuck now. Fuck, we gotta give commentary. God damn it. Can't just remain silent. I mean, do we have to give commentary? <laughs> I'm fucking asleep right now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can't get over the fucking kid who sprinted across the pool buck ass naked. It was really funny. My, dude, my man was on a mission. <laughs> and he achieved said fucking mission. Like, nobody knows what he was doing except for him. <laughs> man had one goal. Man really just said, the plan is simple. <laughs> my man, like, looked between, like, and he was like, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I was, I was brought into the world this way, so it's only <laughs> natural. <laughs> this is how, that's how Mafia works. How Mafia works. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 Popcap did not have to go this hard for the fucking music in this game. Mr. Boo Kit, could you fuck off, please?
<sighs> Jesus Christ, this level's fucking long. <gasps> fucking bitch! The chopper could eat the fucking Zamboni. A huge wave of Zambzies is coming. We got the note. Hello, we heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. What a bunch of distinguished gentlemen. Yeah. I gotta go to sleep. We're on the final level, don't worry. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? One hundred percent sure. Are you the sure is sure whoever sure? Mm-hmm. Alright. Good to know. I like you catchy. <laughs> Da 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 da
Look at how many fucking peas are on the fucking screen! This is it, Anna. Hey. All right, one last plant, and then we are done for the night. You want to come look at this cutie? sea shroom. It's an aquatic plant that shoots short-range spores. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming to the first recording session of Plants vs. Zombies. I had a good time. How about you, Anna? I had a good old grand old time. Alright, well, good night, everybody. <laughs> Anna, say good night! Night! Fuck! Fuck! Bitch! Ah! <laughs>